What's up, everybody? Thanks for hanging out again for another badass Willie Barcenas drop in. As you know, I always have a a guest, and the guests that I have, I usually have a relationship with them. We know each other, you know, at a deeper level. Or else, if 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 I don't have a guest like that, uh, I, I, I'd rather not even have a guest. I, I'd rather you got, talk to you guys and talk to Fabian over there. And uh, you got the camera on you yet, bro? Or you don't have it? What's up, everybody? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> hey, we we have uh, one of my one of my uh, favorite homies that uh, I, I, we've traveled together. We traveled the road. His journey is, is pretty interesting, and um, and in some ways, in many ways, inspiring. And I'm glad he's here. My man right here, George Perez. What's I brought, up? I remember, I, bro, right now, every time, I, I get PTSD every time I bring up your name because at the comedy <laughs> store, I said, you guys ready for George Lopez? And then you yeah. came out, I go, you go, George Perez, asshole. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, like, oh. I'm, like, I'm like, fuck, hey, I, even I thought he was here. <laughs> No. And, but it was an all-star lineup. Like it was Paul Rodriguez, yeah, then yeah. you, and then like Felipe. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like. But I said, dude, I was like, oh, fuck that, just say. Yeah, and then but you're you like, the, and then you, what did you say on stage, bro? I, you, I, you said something. Yeah, and then you cracked up the audience, man. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, everybody, it's uh, George <laughs> Low Perez. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, but no, good, it was cool, dog. Good having you, brother, man. Gracias, Cheers, man. Sipping on a little 19, uh, 1942 here. I know, homie. You always have like the classy <laughs> shit. I, I don't know. I, I just like good smooth tequila. I guess it was when I was younger, when I was in my twenties, I would um, I would uh, drink the, the cheap shit, and then that's why they give you a lime and the salt, cause you know. What's the cheap shit like, Jose Cuervo? Is that considered cheap? Even Patron, bro. Yeah. Patron, Patron's cheap as hell. Cause anything that burns your throat, basically, bro. Oh. You know, anything that burns your throat, anything that burns if it's aged. It's been in barrel for you know for a long time. It's gonna have a smoother taste. It's gonna taste more like a cognac. But uh, yeah, and then I, I'm a drink. You're not really a drinker, bro. You're you're more you're more of a you smoke weed, you, right? Would you say you're more of a weed guy than you are a drinker? Yeah, you know, back in the day, like when I used to be heavy into coke, I had to drink to level it. So I was like a drinker. But now that so I so smoke... okay, so you do coke. And obviously, you get you get high, you get super like. Fuck. And you just want to drink, eh? Because you wanna you wanna feed it. You know? You're feeding it. And like the Coke's like, all right, if you drink two more beers, homie, you could do two more lines of me and you'll feel good again. Uh, bro, I I don't know if I tell you the story, man. Years ago, man, I'm talking 20 years ago. Uh I used to go to the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. And then I don't know this if they still have it, but they have like a Latino night on Mondays, right? And and uh, Paul Rodriguez used to go. All right, this is and uh, we would go to this restaurant called the Mexican Village afterwards okay. in, in Silver Lake. And with me, him, his, his buddy. And uh, I would always try to out-drink him, bro. I would always try to out. And no matter how many shots I took, he could still stand up, bro. And they were always <laughs> dragging me back home. And I say, how does this fucker always win? And then years later, his buddy tells me, no, bro, it's because he, he does coke in between, between the shots. And that keeps you up, right? Hell, it is. Yeah. yeah, that's the, me. I was just drinking. I was just <laughs> fucked up, bro. Looking like an asshole. All right. You and were like uh, a bodybuilder no, without no, steroids. I, I was like, yeah, but uh, no. So, so uh, no. So you you talked about coke, bro. Was was it something that you got into, bro? Did, did a coke ever affect you? Did you did you need coke? Because you're a great stand up, bro. Thank you. Did you need coke to be on stage? Nah, that's a great question, man. Uh, coke happened to me because of uh, women, because I've always been around strippers. Okay. And you know, and you're at that age. I was like twenty two, dog. And well, well for, okay. I, I, I don't want to forget this, bro. Please talk about how you got into that world about the strippers. But tell me how. Uh, well, tell them how that you started DJing, right? When yeah. Twenty two. So I was like 22 and I was strip club, DJ and shit. Mm -hmm. And like, you go home with them, dog. Like to them, they're like, you're the guy that they're like, you know what? I'm going to get this full pussy without charging them. He's cool, eh? Okay. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, and that's so, hard, Willie. When you fuck a stripper, you're fucking a girl that gets money. And she's like, nah, they're like that these way. So would you give them the coke or they had their own coke? They No, they introduced me to oh, it because 
customers would come in and they try to impress them. Okay. That's the best way to bring a stripper home, dog. Go in there with some bomb ass coke, some Norcos, and some Molly shit. Fabian go home with you for that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, Fabian? Hey, what is hey bro? <laughs> Maybe, no. hey, 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 what does what Molly do, bro? Mo- I've never taken Molly. What, what, oh, okay, tell me about that drug. I heard you, you bone better, right? Dog, it's weird, it- dog. It make, it's it's like a pee-pee grabber drug, dog. Like, all the girls grab your dick and you don't even say shit. You're like, hey, it's cool, eh? Like, it's weird, homie. It just makes everything on your body feel good. And if you drink orange juice and Gatorade and you're like at a... F- I learned it at a but rate. What kind of high is it? Like, uh, what, okay, like- so check this out. After that, homie, when you bone... You could feel it everywhere, dog. Like it feels bomb. But then, like the next day, if you don't have a strong mind, you'll be all sad. You're like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh. yeah. But it, it also it depends what's in it too. Because sometimes, yeah. like, there's it's mad. Yeah. Sometimes you wake up and you actually really feel like shit. Yes. So, like, so it is like you got to be careful. So, so the down part of it. Yeah. All oh, the downs yeah. hard. Eh? You get all. You, yeah. Somebody told me what well, you get all. You get all depressed. You get lonely. You don't want to leave your room. No, nah, right? Start, Did you get yeah. like that? Yeah, like I Put started. This, this. I started thinking about all the fools that like I jump. <laughs> like fucking like. Damn, we did. I, I did some fucked up shit to people, man. Like, fuck, I'm a dirt bag. You start having regrets, bro. Yeah, yeah. and it's weird because one of my friends, he's a big old scante warrior, and he was just like, "Yo, homie, come pick me up." I feel like killing myself right now. I did Molly with these highness homie and I I full come get me. Like, hey dog. Oh, so, so this was this was this was the next day. Yeah, it's right? a trigger effect. Oh, okay. So I really don't do it that much. So they got you. So okay. So they go, go back to the strippers, bro. So that what what you you would uh hang out with them and they were like, Hey, you want you wanna try some coke or, or how did that go, bro? That they tell you Homie, it was try, like try this, bro. Hey dog, strippers are like uh you know those cholas they used to pick on you? Yeah. That's all strippers are. They're though. bullies. Fuck yeah! Because yeah. they're like, see, I'm a civilian, bro. You're, <laughs> you're, you're, me, I still believe all that shit, bro. When a stripper tells me, you know, that she likes me and all that, bro, I fucking, <laughs> you know, I, I'm like, oh my god, man, I want to get her number, man. I'm fucking, I'm not dude that shows up with flowers, bro. Like everybody, like you guys laugh at, you know, like <laughs> he's like he's here yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. And We'd fucking, give you a nickname. <laughs> We'd be like, look at dozen roses in his back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's about those that bring highness full. You don't even know. Tell me, bro. Duh, there's guys that bring strippers' shoes, like like their uniform to work. Like the strippers are like, yeah, my shoes are kind of fucking up. I think I need a new pair. I'm gonna go jack you off real quick. Go buy me a pair. And they're, they're like 300 bucks, dog. Oh, no shit. Yeah. yeah. But food is the big thing, you know, flowers. Yeah, but so like going back to what you ask, uh, but the coke. Yeah, like so now we're out of work, eh? It's like seven thirty, and they've been pisteando me at work. So to them, they're already ahead of me. Right. They're like, in, what's up, a four? What's up, cut of the pad, my kids? I lost visitation rates right now. Like, <laughs> like come party with me. So I'm like, all right, let me go home and shower first. Hint, hinting to them, like, why you también, loca? Because right, y'all right. fools have been in there. Right, right, you right, know? right. Yeah, they're all sucios. Yeah. yeah. So I'll never forget it, Willie. Like, on, you never forget the first time you get coke, dog. And, like, it was weird, eh, because uh, she's like, hey, look what I got. And I was like, fuck, eh? I don't do that shit no more. And they're like, why? I'm like, cause. Like, I, I I, can't. I thought it was math. Right, right, right. And then, like, I was like, how are we going to do it? I'm not doing lines of shit. Let's put it in a bowl. And they're like, nah, fool, you, this is Coke. And then they just, they cut it up with a razor dog, old school style, and a razor. Sh- 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 fucking. But it was like little, it was like little cool ones, like party ones. And then, like, Hey, homie, it's like this, Willie. This is how they bullied me, dog. Because I was like, hey, let's drink a little more. And it was too high as they just took their clothes off. They're like, hey, if you want to party with us like this, do a bump and then just kick it in your boxers. And we'll, and I was like. And you were 22 years old. Yeah. 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 Uh, throwing the fierro right there, <laughs> dog. Like, in the beginning, cocaine does help your sex drive and everything. Because it's. Right. Knew your body's like, oh shit, it's taking it on. But later on, dog, that's like fucking, hey, I dare you to do me and try to bone. If you do a lot, a lot, 
I don't know. I don't know why I said that. No, but did, <laughs> but bro, okay. Well, you're you're a youngster. You got these chicks that are obviously way. Well, they're stupid. I mean, you're you're streetwise, obviously, bro. You go, but you know, strippers are street, bro. It's more they're, than they're, street. They're, 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 yeah, they're they're. Did you did you uh, did you ever fall in love with one, bro? When you were Hell when you, oh yeah, when you were a youngster. <laughs> Well, yeah, so I used yeah. to believe him too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, for I got what, played what so the, many times, dog. What was the first one that hurt you, bro? That one. <laughs> the, one the one with the, her and her friend? Yeah, because like she let me bone her and her friend. And then afterwards, she was like fucking choking me and shit, but like writing me. She's like, hey, phone. This is the only time I let you bone her. You can never bone this chick again. Like, fuck her, eh? Like, you're mine, dog. Like that? And I was like, She's like, but I work for, you know, I got to make money. I was like, I ain't tripping, bitch. Like, what, whatever. Like, you know, you agree with that. Right, right. And then, like, yeah, dog. And then, like, at work, the homies, like, because I was kind of new, dog. And the other fools that born her already were like, what's up, dog? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, hey, dog. Yeah. Is that your lady now? And I was like, yeah, that's my lady. And they're like, come over here, fool. Like, <laughs> She's everybody's They lady. went in the office and recorded her, gave me some full head, eh? Uh, like, in the, like, and I was just like. Did you start crying, bro? Nah, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> turn, yeah, it, I, <laughs> turn it off, eh? <laughs> I don't want to see that. You go out there, fucking bitch, give back my shoes. <laughs> Not fall so embarrassed because I kissed her, dog. I probably kissed her. Oh. Yeah, you know, oh. like, Damn, bro. It was a different, like, man. And I, and then, like, I just remember eating it because in my head. Oh, wait, wait, eating, eating what? Eating it. Like, in my head, I already had that playerism. Like, like look, fool, all the girls out there suck other fools' dicks. You want to give up this bitch that gives you fucking coke? She gives me, like, a stripper takes care of you like a customer takes care of her. She thinks, like, money and, like, hey, drive my car when I'm not around, like, is to keep you. Because that's how the customer so keeps So you were basically their little boy toy, no? Yeah. Were, hey, fucking <laughs> Willie. Because no, you're a fucking youngster, bro. Yeah. You're a youngster, man. I was 22, I and these signs were, like, 26, 28. No, no. I, I, I remember, bro, when I was a youngster, I, had a, uh, I mean, she wasn't a stripper, but I remember a, an older woman buying me gifts, and, and then, uh, you know, you're young, you don't even know what's going on, you know, because they're playing you, and, and what you don't realize is that, like, you, you know, you, you're, you're their... You know, you're the chick because they're buying you gifts. You know, so I don't know. Bro. So, so how how did this girl? In the, is that is that how she broke your heart? You saw the video of her blowing somebody? Nah, duh, she just broke my heart later and shit. Like, she got me fired, fool, because she started fucking the owner. Oh, and you threw down with the owner? Nah, then oh. like they all told him like, fool, she's fucking he, she's fucking George, eh? and he was just like, oh, uh, so, so this fucker fell in love with her. Yeah, it was that good. Damn, bro. She's a, well, strippers are manipulators, homie. Yeah. yeah. So how old? How many, so how old is this stripper right now, bro? Where can we find her, boy? Nah, she's probably like Planned Parenthood has a statue of her. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know how to say it. Um, yo, man, that's a great fucking question, dog. Because I thought about that the other day. I was like, "Fuck, I've been in this shit for like twenty years now." Twenty. Like, what do old strippers do? Like, when they retire, because they gotta keep it's, working. Nah, you, dog. Like retiring is no, like no. When they're all wangas, and, no, they don't. They retire, I mean? but they're still like with somebody that's like thirty years older than them. Like, you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna marry that sixty-five year old. Oh, okay, so they have a. They always have a plan, right? Yeah, there's always a backup plan. Or some of them end up working at Walmart, dog. See, that was one of my. I I I thought that that uh, when I see old raggedy chicks like at Walmart, and you can tell like, you know, <laughs> if you look deep into their face, bro, beyond all that pain and misery, you can say, I think when this chick was young, she was probably a stripper. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> if I can see it. Hey, dog. And the weirdest shit is like, strippers, homie. They don't uh. uh a lot of the pros, they don't dress like that outside. They try oh, to dress normal, yeah, like, yeah. like covered up and everything. It's a trip, eh? I, look, at the few strippers that when I was a, a youngster, this is before your mom, you know, the, 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 the few strippers that I went out with, no, I'm serious, bro. <laughs> Back in the day, bro. The few strippers that I went out with, uh, they're not that great. In bed, bro. I don't know what it is about them. And then you go out with a, you know, 
somebody that's conservative and they're fucking smacking you and fucking handcuffs and shit. You're like, what the fuck? A stripper's gone through way more. They have PTSD. Like, they've been doing what the normal girl doesn't do for money with strangers, dog. With like old men, people with disability. A strip club is like more for people with disabilities than old men. Yeah. No, you tell me. We're talking about that one time. You told me that. Like guys that the wheelchairs go in there. Hell, right? fools, yeah, and fools then, with one leg. Like their dick don't work, right? Yeah, and they just like, fuck. And they're like, hey, try it. They're, they're social. Get... They're strippers are in a lot of ways social workers, bro. Yeah, like, you know, right? like like we need them, bro. For real, like you know, because you know, I, I think if it wasn't for them, we would probably have more gay guys, you know, because because an ugly old dude. This is my philosophy, bro. I think like old dudes that that when I see those dudes at a strip club, bro, and like they're paying to get a lap dance. Some of these guys, that's the only that's the only fucking chick they get, right? Hell yeah! Like the only chick they get. Those are the biggest dog. Those are the ones that get fatty up. Like you don't even know. Yeah, no. I, I and they give them a thousand bucks to meet them at a Starbucks and have like lunch with them. I, I seen this guy, bro. I met this guy. Uh, we're at a bar. I got, I got to be friends. He's paisa, bro. Right? He's paisa. Uh -huh. He doesn't speak English, but fuck, bro. He leaves his check at the fucking every time he gets paid. He leaves Damn. it because they got a direct no, deposit. No, I don't know, bro. <laughs> but he tells me, he goes, no, it's que está muy buena y it's mi novia. Yeah. Fuck, he says it's mi novia. I'm like, fuck, bro. You know, he, he, I know he doesn't get pussy, so I. I'm like, no, that's nice, you know. I know they, all they, kinds they, of those fools, dog. Hey, yeah. there's a fool that goes to the strip club. I kick it with that fool more than anybody. There's this a paisa, paisa dude? Yeah, this little paisa, but he has failure, dog, and oh, he yeah. times it right. Oh, okay. He comes in, dog. He'll text me. What's up? ¿Cuánto hay tienes ahora? I'm like, we got 15. He's like, ¿qué te llego? Oh, okay. Comes in, dog, says hi to all of you. know, paisa yeah, shit. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, like, hola, yeah. hola, hola. You know, you always, You're new. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, bro. And, yeah, dog. And like, but I remember for like, there was this one guy I'll never forget, dog. He owned a restaurant and he was this little cholo dog. And he was going through a divorce eh, and he was just drinking it out. And he'd come in there and just throw like a thousand dollars and be like, yeah, I mean, two hours. Come on, let's go. And the girls are like, he didn't even do nothing. He was just back there crying and venting me. That was me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth, bro. Yeah. So, hey, remember? Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, this, hey, this, is your mom, this is when your mom left me, bro. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it was the first oh, shit. Hey, bro. Because I, I went to your bar, bro, yeah. when, 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 when his mom left me. I think I was like a year or two years into it, bro. I was just fucking drinking. I was lonely as fuck. It was right after COVID. I wasn't getting any work. I was trying to get back. Yeah, that shit was hard, I man. was trying to get back in traction again. You know, lost the house, everything. I remember you told me, uh, hey, bro, come to the club, man. There's a <laughs> fucking George, bro. So I go, and I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all fucking, oh, we thought around, I'm all sad. Uh, Your dad showed up with spandex on <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, so I see, I see George, and then, uh, and then, uh, they had a stripper, and then he told the stripper, "Yeah, take care of my buddy." Yeah, you, 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 he like talked to her for a little while, bro. He had a, <laughs> yeah, you, you huddled up with her. I had to tell the plan. Uh, 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 I was like, "Yo, this fool right here, my boy, he got money." So, <laughs> so, so I remember this, bro. She goes, "Do you want to go to the regular room, or do you want to go to the max room?" Right? I don't know what she called it, man. You guys have like the super room. Yeah. So I go, I go, fuck it, let's go to the super room. Right. Hell yeah! It's so only I go, fifty more bucks. So I go. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the super room. Hey, we all remember, bro. Your mom left me. I was lonely. I was a man in pain. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was like that song, bro. Searching for love in all, all the wrong places. places. Searching for <laughs> love in too many faces. I was lonely, bro. <laughs> right? that's, the, that's the point. So, um. So I went, and then uh, the, the, the stripper goes, after you talk to her, she goes, do you want to go to the regular room or to the super room? And then I was like, I'm not blaming it on the, on the alcohol, bro, but it, it, it did, you know, you know, it like, it makes you vulnerable too, bro. So I'm drinking, and I was already hurt. And uh, 
So I go, yeah, let's go to the super room, right? And she goes, oh, that's a great room. So I was like, oh, shit. And it's like, I'm fucking I'm falling in love with this chick. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, so check this out, Fabian. So I go to the super room, and it's a, it's a bed. Yeah. You guys have a bed in it's there, bro. It's a love couch. Okay, love couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking okay, kind of a flat couch, bro. Yeah. So, <laughs> the the st- flattest couch I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> fucking super sticky couch. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, no so, so I laid down, bro. I laid down, and then uh, she's taking off my shoes, right? Oh. Right? Damn. <laughs> so... And then I look up and I see a camera. I go, what the <laughs> fuck? I go, what's that camera for? And it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> it's and zooming go, in. No, check this out. <laughs> check this out. So now I'm like, now I'm, you know, I, I don't want to do nothing, bro, because I can see myself on fucking TikTok or social uh, media. I'm fucking huh, looking up my you, morning. If you right? ever did me dirty, no, like. I know. <laughs> so, no, so, 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 so I'm laid down, right? And looking at the camera, I go, what's, what's that for? She goes, it's for my protection. I go, what do you mean protection for what? Well, in case something happens, like if the customer gets aggressive, you know, we, they're watching me right now. I go, they're watching you? Who watches you? She says, George. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put my uh, shoes back on. Fucking George. George like, fucking my neck. Uh, I go, come on, come on, man. Take the Dodger boxers <laughs> off, man. I go, this fucking my neck. <laughs> nah, hey, it's not me, homie. She said you. No, nah, there's a the man the manager's name George at night, uh, eh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, no, I can't watch and DJ. <laughs> Shut up, Dick. You have a little laptop right there. <laughs> nah. Hey, so, so, so I said, uh, I said, uh, so I just said, nah, man, this doesn't feel right. I go, I'm, that I'm, shit was and, funny. And, so I sat there and we just talked about my life, bro. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, well, you still got another hour, right? And what do you, she goes, what do you want to do? And I said, you know, I have a lot of stuff on my mind. I could, it's okay, we just talk. <laughs> and then, look, and then before you know it, bro, I, I had her in tears, like, oh, you finally left here? <laughs> and she goes, you lost the house? She goes, and, and, and the dog? Do you say it? this shit on stage? I think I know. I, I this know shit I, is I, fucking <laughs> funny, <laughs> dog. <laughs> but, so, so I was telling her, uh, I told her the whole story, bro. I thought you fucked. No, bro. No, yeah, because there's a camera. Fucking, you can review it, bro. No, because you came out early. I was like, damn, she made him bust early. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, but you were no, like, I ran out of story. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> the story had a beginning, middle, and end. It was kind of quick, bro. And then I just told her, you know, I, I uh, thank you, uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> and that's I, funny. I, she actually looked relieved, like you know, like wow, you know, I got treated like a human being. You know, wow. and uh, anyways, I went back. I don't know if you remember, bro. I went back out there, and then I told you, bro. I was fucking that camera scared the shit out of me. Yeah, and then uh, then I took off. Well, honestly, like I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I, that's a lot of those cameras ain't on, because if it is on, and then like the, that's like letting people when they raid the club know what happens there. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just like it's the game they use on you. Like, oh. hey, put all like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. try to put it in my butt. They're watching. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, see me peg us way. They're yeah, gonna come what, get you. Yeah. You know? No, you know what, bro? During that time, man, and then actually during that time when you, you, and, you and I started working uh, together, yeah. doing yeah. more shows, and then COVID was trying starting to like be in the distance, and then uh, people were starting to. Uh, Cause right right after COVID, bro, people weren't spending money, bro. People were still a little hesitant to 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 spend their money because well, know? it went away because the stimulus check is when everything was high. Like so, everybody was doing the stimulus check, and then they were doing the scam on it, eh? Like using anybody's social security. I know fools in prison that got it. Oh shit! Yeah, because all you needed was a social security number. And then they, and then later on they started doing the face recognition, but uh, yeah, dog. Like, did you know back then lowriders, all the prices have dropped because everybody had so much money they could get one. So they're like, all right, fuck it, put everything up. Everybody was getting rims, getting speakers, getting lowriders. So, the, so the lowriders went down or went? Yeah, up? they went down, dog. Really? And, yeah. and pri- a little bit, like 
maybe four to five thousand on some. No, yeah, no, I remember trying to buy a car at that time, dude. It was, oh. it was like trying to buy a fucking new car. At yeah, that point. because like, nobody was, was shipping them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, bro. Um, no. Okay. Hey, brother. One thing. Um, so I, I, obviously, I'm gonna backtrack a little, man. Go ahead, so, brother. So you were you, so, so you you still you still um. Do your, you know, DJing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like, you can say it's your side hustle, right, bro? Of Which course is like, it is. I only do like it. Coolest, coolest it side hustle. Like, bro, I mean, not too many people have a side hustle where they're DJs at a, at a strip bar. Yeah. What's the craziest? You know what, bro? Look, from a guy that's been there, and you say since 20, since you were 22 years old, bro. Yeah. What's the craziest shit? Like, if you could tell me... Like a story where you go, bro, you won't believe what fucking happened at this Fuck, strip I got some crazy yeah, ones, dog. Like, but, like, I, I, I kind of want to let people know, like, I used to be a five to six day a week, and then I got into comedy, and I dropped it to four, and now I'm at three, and it's like a side hustle, exactly yeah, what yeah, you yeah. said, but it keeps me relevant, Willie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it keeps me to know what the struggle, what shit's going on, and... Day shift customers are all successful vatos. Day shift. Yes. Okay, so there's a difference between the clientele. Oh, yeah. Night and, shift and, and, is Fabian, young fool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting hustled, right? Yeah. You know? So, so the day shift, bro, they're just pro professional dudes that want a, a, a side they shift. They got a family, homie. Yeah, they want a side shift. Yeah, they just want to, they don't want your phone number. They want to come in, kick it, chill. Gracias, yeah. late. Oh, I love my family so much. Yeah. Yeah. Not over there beating his lady up because he's bored. He's just like, Coos. this okay. bitch don't even know my real name. She thinks I'm Gary. All right, bro. But, okay, so let me ask you. So oh, they, you want a crazy story? No, 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 no. So there, I, when I was there, when I when I was there with you, and, and I, I I see like, uh, like when they say like for the next five minutes we have a. I don't know, Dollar Dance, or they try yeah. to, you guys have like a special. Yeah, yeah. You have like a, a special where they walk around, they're telling everybody, hey, you want it? Yeah. You, know, you, you want to you, you dance for uh, $2, or they make it real cheap, right? Like, what's now, the cheap? we don't do that, but no? it, that's the old school way. We used oh. to do that in the early days where it's like, all right, everybody, everybody hold up $2 right now. You get the $2 tussle, and the Haina would like throw like out of 30 seconds on you. So it would get you ready to go back there, you know? Okay, but this is how they would get me, bro, when I was younger. But and tell me if they no, still I want to hear this, please. Tell me if they still did do this move. And and I know it's a scab, bro, but I was a youngster and I didn't know I didn't know you know how it worked. But they'll say, I'm gonna just throw a number, bro. For five dollars you can you can get a, a lap dance. Uh two dollars no, for five dollars you get two songs and and then so you go five dollars, you know, you're like, fuck yeah. Well, you were just, you, right? <laughs> no, 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 just throw a okay. <laughs> number. Right? Let's, let's just say ten or twenty, whatever. All right. Let's say twenty, whatever, bro. I'll just throw a number out there. So <laughs> so, so they do the lap that the the dance, and then they're talking to you and they're teasing you, and then you're like Hey, me, you like, hey, me, huh? all right, thank you. You know, all right? <laughs> right? And then they go, okay, that's uh, $285. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dance like eight songs. Eight? Like, they keep going. Oh, they yeah, that's the hustle. That's the hustle, right? That's the hustle. And then, hustle. And then, then, you, and then I said, hey, I thought I only owed you 20 bucks or whatever. And they're like, yeah, that was the first two songs. Yeah. But you're, that's the sixth or seventh song now. <laughs> and I'm like... And then you and then and then this, and then this, this is my stupid ass, bro. When I was young, I, was, I try to get mad, right? Like what, right? And then they go, if you want me, I'll get the manager and the bouncers because they're not gonna let you go. Yeah, you have to pay, right? They fucking scared the shit out of you. Like all right, you know, like fuck, where's the ATM? Yeah, right, no, right? that's the hustle. So like, this is the this is the hustle, dog. Is like, I'll walk up to you and I'll be like, look, check it out, homie. Like, yo, the high of fatty, I mark the dances. Like, you fucked up. Right now, it's kind so of like... They, so they do purposely make you lose track, bro. Of course. Like when you're... Hey, bro, I think you probably do such a cool-ass mix that they can't hear the other <laughs> song coming. Right? They can't hear the other song coming in. They're still fucking bobbing their head to the same ah, song. I fucking love you, right? Hey, hey Willie, fucking I love eight you. eight songs with the same beat. So yeah, you're like, that yeah. is one last... Yeah, like they're playing the remix. long version. <laughs> to return on the back. <laughs> Yeah, nah, but uh, see, that's why as a DJ, when I DJ, every girl's like, hey, why do you always say next song, new song in the lap dance? I'm like, so now we have proof that the customer heard oh. new song. 
So, like, when I DJ, I'd be like, all right, guys, coming up next for you right here, we got La Perra. New song going down for that lap dance. New song. Psh. Okay. The song so, so now they can't. Yeah, but, no, nah, but, like, you know how, like, you got to remember this, too, like, the, the customers, they'll be like, hey, I'm going to call the cops. You guys are strong arm marine. Like, you know what? Please call the cops so the fucking, your wife can know. And now we have your address and we'll send fucking pictures of you here. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Straight up, damn, bro. You don't. You don't even have to fight these fools no more. Some fools are like, I don't have a wife. All right, well. Do you guys? Do you tell them, hey, we got your plates in the parking lot? Oh yeah, all that shit. You yeah. know, sometimes you gotta fight these fools too, dog. Because at yeah. the end of the day, that's your money they're taking. And like, how much do they kick down? The DJ? If I have to fight for her, dog, like that, they give you half of it. Do they tip you out at all, bro? Yeah, they tip me fat. Like every. You know, it's um. So this does this happen? Bro? Is this the thing that happens in all the strip? Clubs? Every club, because like, there's no reason for me to be there to play music for minimum wage. I'm playing music to create an environment that make folks comfortable and you and want to get you to go dance with them. Okay, so let's say let's say the chick uh, which gives you twenty uh, percent, not ten percent. Ten percent, okay. But I'm. You know, like, yeah, I'm a fucking good DJ at a strip club. I'm not the DJ at the club that can do all those mixes. Mm. But at the fucking strip club, I'll eat a motherfucker up because I'll read the crowd. I'll play. Like, if you walked in for, I'd be like, I'm going to play I'm some fucking Keith Sweat, <laughs> Spring Love. Look out, we can come. Here I come. I'll be like, this, like, my, I'll be like this is my club. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. And when, when a girl's on you, you're like, damn, bitch. Like, like you know what I mean? I, and like I like I earn my shit. Like, like sometimes the girls are like, hey, this full shorted me 80. Don't trip, go with our A player, like check it out. Don't mean like, nah, I don't care if you didn't like the dance. You okay. did it. If you didn't like it, you walked out. Like I go, hey homie, this ain't like fucking uh stash and grab. You can just grab a bitch and run out, like how people still close up right. the mall. Okay. Like, hey homie, if you get past me, the homie at the door, he ain't gonna let you go because this is how he, he makes a living. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a guy just say, "Fuck, I ain't paying." Yeah, dog. And I had to fucking strong arm that for. That was when I was younger and didn't know the consequences. Okay. But now I'm like, "Fuck, that was me." I took his wallet, ripped his pants, dog, like the back. Oh shit! Bro. Yeah, and I was like, "Explain that to your family." Oh damn. <laughs> damn, damn Willie over here making me tell him myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, strip club confessions, but hey, Willie. Does, <laughs> You know, like I wouldn't have traded it for nothing, dog. I, I love. I used to be a construction worker. I was a cement mason, certified union. I know how to set for and support concrete no, steel. No, bro, I've seen. I've seen your driveway, bro. <laughs> I see your driveway. It's fucking yeah. smooth, brother. Yeah, like we don't. Fuck that, around. That, did you drop that? No, my mom did. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. I thought you were doing that. No, my mom that, taught me that. She did it. It used to be her house. I bought it off of her. Oh uh, fuck! We, we what's that? Oh, a beer? No, no, no. It's, oh, a lighter? Bro, it's dude. <laughs> Did you get him on camera, bro? No, no, it's on George. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all crying. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, hey, hey, they, hey. they didn't give me money. <laughs> hey, bro, so when I when I first when I first met you, um, so you were working at what made you what made you uh want to be a stand up, George? Like nothing like, made me. Nothing. Like I didn't know you could be a stand-up, homie. Well, when's the first time, or who told you about, like, that you can go to a club, or... It, how, did yeah. you, how did you get to an open Dog, mic? Edwin was there. We got, can we, we got Edwin, Edwin, uh... San Juan Edwin in the building. Juan. So, <laughs> hey, Willie, like, I, I, I used to date this girl that was, like, uh... All the girls I dated always stayed in Orange County. They were homegirls, or, like, like good girls. Then I started dating this one hyena that was everywhere, dog. And every time I'd get her to come to my house, I'd be like, hey, what's up? Hey, you want to watch a comedy special with me? And so I throw on, like, Richard Pryor, because, you know, Chola's never seen this shit. Okay. And they'd be giggling, and they'd be like, hey, just take the pussy. Yeah. And then she was just like, hey, fool, do you want to be a stand-up comedian? I was like, nah. Bitch. Said, wait, wait, where did this happen? My This girl that I'm dating. Okay. And then she was like, hey, fool, like, why do you always show me stand-up comedies? I was like, I love this, watching this shit. She's like, well, you, when you talk, you do jokes like these fools. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, fool, like, 
I remember like telling her one time, I was like, hey, you know Denzel Washington? They gave him an award for uh what he won like an Oscar for uh Remember the Titans? Okay. No, nah, he won it for um where he's a bad cop, eh? Training, training. training day. Okay. And in my head I was like, of course they won't give a black guy an award when he's doing something positive as a coach, but as a crooked cop. That's what we want people to, to see. Yeah, that's pretty deep, bro. Yeah, you know, and they're, she they're, was like, you're already but, setting these jokes up. You know, that's, that's, that's deep in thought, bro, because I do believe Hollywood exactly. perpetuates negativity and stereotypes. Yeah. And I could see how, like, a, a, a gangster movie, even with Latinos, they'll, they'll, like, go out of their way to promote and maybe give awards to kind of... Uh, I think you can you can control people by keeping them down, mm-hmm. you know, by keeping them down, by not wanting to to rise up. So yeah, that that that's a that's a that's a deep thought. Bro. Yeah, no, for real, man. And then I would always bust jokes. Like I was always that funny fool that just roasted, dog. Like I would make fun of fools, dog, hard because I was watching and I was already watching. Hey, if I already knew who you were at this time, I seen you, dog. Yeah. I seen you. I seen this fool, Edwin. Like like. The uh, like when you guys first started comedy, I'm that generation that seen you guys. Okay, was it that? What is that? Uh, lo- local comedy, lo- local. You also did the Latino comedy festival, uh, or something Latino, else. Yeah, like that. Latino comedy festival. I did. Yeah, yeah. Those are back in the day. Yeah. Bro. So like, this Haina shows that to me, and I was like, "What the fuck?" She showed it to me, and she was like, "Hey, like, let's go to the Laugh Factory Latino night." So you like, went on a Monday? No. Nah. No. I was like. I ain't going out to Hollywood. Fuck all that bullshit. I got to do construction. I was like, she was like, all right. So she found this place. Edwin used to run. It was called Club Rio. I don't, I don't, I don't remember that place. I it don't remember that place, bro. No, it wasn't. It? it was off the 91 in Lemon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was on a Wednesday night. Yeah. And all the right. stage was made out of aluminum. We had Tuesday nights and we were getting like 800 people. Yeah. Oh, really? Was, yeah. Was that your night, bro? Yeah, that was Oh damn. yeah, eight hundred people, bro. Yeah. Hey, we were getting punked. He was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all were, bro. Cause I remember, bro. I used to fill up. Uh, we used to do the, the the clubs in East LA, and we would fill them up on Wednesdays too. Remember? Yeah. Uh, There's called the what was it, Gotham's? Gotham's. Yeah. And they yeah, were those, charging them. Yeah, they were. Char- and then we, I would get like eighty bucks for a hundred <laughs> bucks, and uh, and I felt like I was like, oh hell yeah, hundred bucks. Yeah, and food too. They had food. And then they throw in drinks, bro. You know, give me a, uh, and then they knew how to get me, bro. They give me like fucking twelve drink tickets, and then I was like, <laughs> I was like, in, in my head, I was like, fucking, I'm, I'm fucking getting over on these guys, you know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know. But no, and then you, you know, as we learn the business, bro, you know. Uh, but uh, so you, so you did, uh, so you did that room. What was it called? No, I didn't do the. Oh, you room. didn't do. Oh, you just showed up. So what? Okay. This is the story. All right. So I show up to the room. It's Edwin, I think Alonzo Bowden. Uh, Alonzo. That's what Alonzo the used to devil's do all the there, dog. Uh, fucking Jeff, Jeff Sebastian. Gar- Jeff, Jeff Garcia. Sebastian. Yeah. And Edwin and the devil's up there roasting the shit out of everybody. They're doing a Your Mama competition. Yeah. And then I'm there with like fucking, because like, Fullerton isn't my enemies, but I'm not going there without the homies. So like it was like ten I mean, of my I, homies. Bro, but I didn't even I didn't even know Fullerton had homies. Oh yeah. That's, 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 old, really? that's Tokerstown, dog. I didn't know that, bro. Yeah, I they, thought Fullerton, I always think of like conservative, oh, I know. upper middle class. It white, is. White Those people. trolls have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's active. Yeah, okay. Nah, dude. Fullerton Tokerstown, they they are an Old Vario, very active really? and fucking yeah. uh so you know I just yeah. go to be safe. Right, right, right. So uh and plus we don't have pedal with them, but like, hey homie, I just this is like two thousand one, two thousand two. And uh the devil's like, I'll challenge anybody in the audience to come on stage and go against me right now. I remember he used to do that. Yeah. yeah, I remember it was, it was one of his things, right, Edwin? He would, he would do it. Like, and then all my yeah, homies were like, yeah. hey, you better go up there, dog. Fucking roast that motherfucker. So I was like, fuck, yeah, I'm down. So I go on stage, dog. 
and just uh, yeah, yeah, immediately, dog. Like I remember, I was like in full, and like this was only hacky because me, I'm like. These are jokes that I know fools use later on me because, like, this is me and my home. I remember going up there and telling that fool, like, uh, fucking, uh, what did I say, dog? I said, uh, your mom is like a piñata. You got to be blindfolded before you hit it. Oh. And he was like, oh. what the? That was, that's a good one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I never heard that one. That's a good. Yeah. I, heard, I heard a lot of Mama jokes. That's, exactly, that's because like I was already in this comedic mind. Okay, I just you know, and uh, I won. Dog. Hey, Edwin was there, dog. And, you were there that night. Edwin? Hey, hey, and I have it on video. Oh shit! Yeah. Somebody recorded it. So you you uh, I you destroyed beat the, the devil, the fucking, dog. The roast master. Right yeah, <laughs> Jeff but it was Mama jokes, dog. You know. Yeah. And plus, like, I, I did use some that I seen on fucking Death Comedy uh, Jam. Yeah. Hey, bro, you're a civilian. <laughs> yeah. You, you're, you, th that, you don't have a license to carry. So you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, but the original ones, like, no, I could was... see the shock in him. He was like, what the fuck? Right, right. And then fucking. Were the audience, were the audience losing their mind, bro, when you were? When you were yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was like returning champ, man. He did it like three weeks in a row. Yeah. You're, you're, you kept you kept you kept coming back. Yeah. yeah so the uh, point where I was like, man, you got to go up and do some comedy. Yeah. Some time. So then uh -huh. I started hooking up with Edwin, and you know, like I knew Edwin liked weed, so I was like, yo, full check out the weed I get, and he was like, yeah, you can come on. Well, you can. <laughs> so I started picking Edwin up and and going to. Wild Coyote to Casa Latina to fucking. By that mix. time, I was I was gone, huh? I yeah, was doing like radio in Sacramento. Yeah, you right? were like that was before that. That was before that. Yeah, well, I was doing the Tonight shows, and then you were still going there, hanging yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll go once in a while. So, yeah. Hey, you were like the fool everybody warned me about. Yeah, yeah nah, bro, I, I had issues, bro. <laughs> had nah, issues. fool, but I wanted to meet this yeah, vato because yeah, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I want to meet yeah. this. I wish I would have fucking yeah. like. Oh, nah, I wish probably, I would have met you like that. You probably would have got me into coke, bro. We <laughs> all yeah, strung, strung out right now. With a book. I'd be married to a stripper, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, but that hey, and then from there, dog. Okay, so so he did he did uh, a couple of these roast battles. Obviously, he whooped some ass. Uh -huh. Okay, when did you tell yourself like I, I you know you're at home, you're like you know I'm. A, I'm gonna write some jokes. Is that I didn't you, write jokes. You didn't write jokes? Okay. Nah. Fuck. I just went up there like eight hours. You just wing it? Yeah. And then like two minutes were good of the five. And then that's when I started hanging out with him and learning. Like I didn't know setup, tag, punchline. I was just like mimicking cadences of other comedians that I seen. Well, like, everybody when they start, bro, I don't care who they are. I, I hate when people say, Oh yeah, you sound like so and so. You sound yeah, but everybody, you can talk to Richard Pryor and he can tell you who influenced him. Yeah. You know, you, uh, anybody who's who's great, bro, Red Fox will tell you who in, uh, influenced him. You know, the Lenny Bruces of the world will tell you. They were, it's, you got to influence by It's like being in a band, you know. The, the Beatles, as much as they talk shit about uh, Elvis and all that, they were influenced. Their first, first stuff sounded like the 50s are the, the groups, the doo-wops. Yeah, and then they got their own style. So no, bro, I I I get it. So who were who were the guys that you felt like? Okay, I like his rhythm. I like that guy's cadence or whatever. Richard. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's always Richard. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's always been like Richard, bro. And but it was cool because like I don't know for some reason I remember Honest John telling me like I've only been doing comedy for eight months and Honest John was like, hey. You find your voice early, man. Wow. Like, because I was up there doing weird shit, huh? Like, I was talking about topics other fools weren't talking about. Yeah. No, bro. I always loved your style. Thank always, you, and, brother. And, 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 and there's cats. I mean, obviously, you know, one of the reasons when I was coming up, and I guess the bad rep I had was because dudes would do, uh, like, your other, premises. Other, guy, other guy styles or or, yeah. or, or or verbatim jokes, right? Uh, and then... Uh, but I remember seeing you, always Edwin. Edwin always had his own jokes. Edwin San Juan yes, was right here with for us. Real. We got to get another camera and put it up here and shoot the guy sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, uh -huh. um, yeah, you had your own style, bro. It's your jokes. Uh, and, and then I remember when I first seen you, I was at a, I was at a restaurant. And then you, 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 
I think that's the first time I saw you. No, I, I remember the first time you uh, seen me. Uh, we did a show in San Bernardino, me, you, and Gilbert Escobar. And then, like, and Eric Blake was booking it. Like, oh. so he, he took us to go do a radio station and all oh. that. No, but you always had your own style, bro. Thank you. You always had your own vibe, your own your own thing. And uh, it's funny because I talk, I mean, I'm not going to mention names, bro. I mean, those, those days are gone. But I remember talking to a comedian, a couple of them, that I would say, hey, do you write? Do you ever sit down and write? Like, nah, I just let it all come to me. But at one point, I, 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 you have to, even if you don't want to write the, 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 the joke like word for word, you got to come up with at least a topic. You yeah. know, you got to come up with, with, with some bullet points. That because as I when I was younger, I literally wrote every word, man, and it was it was like tedious, bro. And I would try to remember these fucking scripts, right? And as you get older and wiser, you go, you know, I got to go with a feeling. I'm gonna talk about, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna talk about a girl leaving me, right? And then why did she leave me? So I just write the bullet points, and I try to remember the story as I evolved. Yeah. So how did you get into? Your, your, I mean, how did you come up with your material? Because it's original, it's yours, bro. Yeah, how I mean, you, yeah, I, I learned a, I learned joke writing from, from Edwin. From Edwin, okay. Set up, tag, punchline, callback, and then like. Uh, that's fucking writing 101 yeah. right there, bro. And then after that, uh, this is how I look okay, at it. Okay, let me just say something real quick, bro. Go ahead. I, and I don't mean to interrupt you, no. bro. There's some comedians that say, you don't need structure, you know? I, 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 uh, I wing everything. But obviously, when you're. When you were like first, first starting, bro, you were you were winging because you didn't know, you know, uh, how to write. You know how to no. create. And then here comes Edwin San Juan. He shows you uh, comedy one hundred and one. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people don't know how important that that what you just said, which is right, uh, the topic, the the setup, the tag, setup. punchline, callback, and then just yeah, yeah. Like, that's like a that. Th- you know, structure, is, to me, is the foundation of comedy. Because once you know structure, you can play with, like, the joke. You yes. Can, you, you, can, you can deviate from structure and then come back. But without having structure, without knowing how to write, you can't do that. You're just lost. And it's, a, it's, it's where that comedian that just tells a long story and you're like, well, where's the funny, you know? Yeah. Where the fuck's the funny? He's like, you had to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, okay, bro, uh, for you, man, I, I, you know, I love your style. It's a, it's a little bit of a, your style of writing, bro, reminds me a little bit of a, who, who, who's the cat? He passed away. He was on the 70s show. Freddie uh, Prince? No, 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 no. Fred, no, no, Fred. He's on this, it's called the 70s show. Uh, he's a white dude. Oh. He passed away. He used to, he used to the like heroin. Guy? He's, no, he used to like heroin. Comedian. <laughs> Mitch Hedberg? Mitch Hedberg, bro. Oh, yeah, wow. Because Mitch had that that way of telling, like, wow. But he would tell the old school, bro. Yeah. He never got into the storytelling, right. you know? He would do that thing where, like, he would say, I went to go buy a donut the other day. Yeah. And like, then, you know what? And, and, I thought of this joke today, and I was like, does kids foot locker... Like condoms. The kids foot locker like what? Condoms. I don't get it, bro. Well <laughs> How Did you get it anyway? All right, thank you. I'm not, I'm got it. No, like where like how they if you wear a condom, how these fools can can they get a new customer? It's kids foot locker. Uh, I, that's uh, I'm, okay, help me out, Edward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, look, look at people. And I know where you're going with that. Yeah, but like, no, no, that's no, what listen, I love. No, no. When you write a joke, what people don't know about a joke, because see, you thought of that today, right? Yeah. See, what people don't know that a joke starts out as an embryo. Yeah. And people, it's not even a, it's not even a child yet. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's a, like, you can whether, abort it. Yeah, you can abort it. <laughs> but but see, you, I, I see where you're you're deep in thought with this, but you still haven't connected the dots. No. But as you go on stage or you write it, it starts it starts growing up. And before you know it, it's a full blown joke. Yeah. But it's it, it it starts with with structure, man. Hey, uh, I came up with a bomb new one, dog. Can I give it to you? It's quick. What? I haven't like developed it yet, but like, you know the new Donald Trump shoes. I bought them. <coughs> Did you buy them? Yeah, I I play basketball. 
They're going to be collector's items, yeah. bro. But, like, I couldn't score no points with them. All I could do was draw charges. Oh, <laughs> shit. I, I like that, bro. Right? That's a good one. I like that. That's, that's that. I and, like that. I like right? that, bro. And then, like, I added to it. I was like, but it's okay, because when it goes into review, you win. <laughs> no, I like that. Hey, thank I, you. I like that. I like that. I like, I like that. that. Like I said, that has that, that Mitch Hedberg oh, a, a, a yeah. type of vibe. Did you ever hear his joke about the donuts? Yeah, I have his album. Oh, okay. So you I know, hear, you, yeah, yeah, I kind of heard the donut ones. Like, I don't I like Mitch. I like the joke where he's like, you ever go to a hotel? Or is it you ever go to a restaurant and like they make you like check in, they give you a buzzer, and sometimes they call a family and that family's not there. You're like, what the fuck happened to the Robinson? I thought they wanted to eat. Like, should we send out a search? I don't know. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always liked comedy like that. I don't know. You know what's fucked up, man, is uh, I've noticed I'm a, com I'm a conceited comedian. I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, you know what, homie? Who gives a fuck if, if like, sometimes I see fools. I'm like, man, that fucking shit is so corny, and it's working. And in my head, I'm like, you know. You're not up here trying to be, stop trying to be Michelangelo with every stroke. Right. Let them, Michelangelo wasn't loved in the beginning. He was loved later when they realized what every stroke meant. Right, right. I don't know. No, That's no, like I my, like that. No, I like that, bro. You, you know? know? No, I know exactly what you say, bro. And and somebody else said said that, I, I forget who said it, man, but there was, a, there was a guy who was a motivational speaker, or I don't know who this cat was. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't do the jokes. Uh, saying, uh, I hope the audience likes this. You gotta like it, bro. Straight you up. You gotta like the joke. Now, if they like it or they don't like it, now it's on you whether you want to keep saying it. But originally, the jokes, you gotta care for it. You can't write thinking like, I hope the audience likes this. Yes. You gotta like it. And yeah. then deliver it, and then a la verga right there. Like, you don't know who, you know, they like it, they don't like it, fuck it. But it's gotta be you. Uh, so... So okay, bro. So your your comedy career, man. It, it, it obviously it, it took off. We were, we were talking about uh, you were doing these these what we were called the one nighters and the Latino uh -huh. neighborhoods, right? Yeah, hell so, yeah. So then you broke out of there. Okay, how did you break out, bro? And then you know you had you were one of the few. I mean, I bet you, but you're not. There's not that many Latinos name at the comedy store. Right, like no. you got passed. You got passed at the comedy store. Gracias. And yeah. your name, your name is on that on that uh, yeah. famous uh, building, you know, comedy what? store. Gracias. You know, like when I started, like none of the people that I kicked it with were even like, "Hey, George, you should go to the store." Uh. You know, like I don't know what would happen. So, like, I didn't even know the comedy store existed. Eh. Right. I was more like, "Fool, I'm doing fucking Tulare." <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, right, you right, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I oh, didn't yeah. know, dog. I was like, yo, man, Edwin just took me to fucking Redlands. Like, what I get? I don't have Hollywood, homie. I'm from the line, yo. Right, right, right. And then, like, fucking, um, I get out of prison, and uh, I just remember doing comedy at, at second base. And then, like, uh, people were just like, other comedians that started seeing me, they're like, hey, have you ever been to the store? And I was like, nah. And they're like, yo, dog. I think if you go to the comedy store, you'll kill. And you know what? I'm going to give told, a, Who told you this, bro? Jesus Trejo. Oh, I know that kid. Yeah, dog. Yeah, and, yeah very, li very likable. Very likable. Yeah, funny. he's a feed me funny. And, and, and like, he guided me. He was just like, look, fool, I think you should do roast battle. So I did. Hey, just like I started comedy, I started at the store. I started with roasting. So, they're so having, you would do roast battles at the store? Yeah, but oh, just my first night, Willie, the impression, they were shocked, homie. Because, like, I'm at a prison now. I'm kind of healthy as fuck, right, dog. Right, right. <laughs> Creased down, looking all G. <laughs> and then the, the opponent's like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Uh, came uh, out with the cholo jokes right yeah, away at you, right? Yeah, you know, like, oh, and then, like. Leslie Jones was a judge. I know Leslie. Yeah. I'm actually friends with her. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And, uh, she used to do uh, The Room, man. Mm -hmm. She used to do Our Room in the Hood, yeah. bro. And Montebello. Yeah. Right well, there. check this out, homie. She used to live in my barrio. Okay. She used to live in Orange. She's a good lady, by the way, Oh, bro. she's I like, feeding it, I, I like Leslie, man. Well, so check this out. She's a judge on the panel, and they were like, yo, first time ever, 
this guy's been on MTV Yo Mama, and the crowd's like, boo, fuck MTV Yo Mama. <laughs> and then, like, Leslie was like, George Perez, and she was like, why are you on the undercard? Because it was an undercard, then it was a main event. And I was like, it's my first time here. And she's like, you never been to the store? And I was like, no. She's like, y'all motherfuckers don't even know what's about to go down right now. Right. And then, pink, and I just, I was going against, like, some Middle Eastern fool. Okay. And I was like, oh, and he was ghetto. I was like, my first joke was just like, I was like, oh, shit, what Slim Dog Dollar Tree over here? <laughs> 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 and then the crowd's like. Who the f- and I just going in, boom, just off the top, boom, 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 yeah. boom. And then from that night, I met this Vato named Brian Redband, and then Tony yeah, Hinscliff was there. Those guys, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, uh, and then Austin dudes, right? yeah, and then like we just linked, and he was just like, "Yo, dog, I did the fucking potluck." Adam Egan, he seen me battle, and he was like, "Yo, homie, come come start doing um, potluck and." Then he put me in a development spot. Adam Ingen was the first one to believe in me, dog. The guy that's at the mothership now. Okay. He put me in a development spot. And you know, you know what I like about this Vato? Okay. See, he didn't pass me early. Like I thought I was ready, but I wasn't. Uh-huh. He let me develop and learn. Like, and then you later, dog, were the one that put the icing on the cake. Uh-huh. When you were like, fucking George is funny as fuck, but he needs to write more. And in my head, I was like, fuck yeah. You like. I'm not trying to say you're my fan, but you were a fan saying this. Hey, this phone has one album out. Hey, come on, give me another album, Pedro. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And I, it's I, and now I'm like, fu- you can ask Edwin. Like that's all I focus on after you said that, bro. No, no bro. I remember because no one watching, cared uh, about me to tell me. No, no. I remember watching you, bro. I was laughing, and you know what? As as comedians, we're a little jaded. I hate to say, you know, we go to. It's like a I don't know, man. You know, you we hear comedy so much that yeah. it, you know we have to. Like, you know, the old joke about a comedian laughing hard is like watching a comedian, you hear a, a joke that would kill the civilian. Mm-hmm. This is all comedian laughs. So I'm like, ha. That to us is like it killed. Yeah. You know, because it's hard to make us move, man. Yeah. But I remember watching you and I was, I was laughing out loud, bro. I was, I was Thank laughing. You, and, then, and then I just, I just, I don't know, bro. I, I, you know, once you drink, you get a little brave. And then I was like, you know, I think I remember telling you, you just need to write more, man. No, it was, was like, it was good. Joe Rogan told me the same thing, too. Oh, Joe man. was like, George, write more. And I was like, all right, cool. But, you know. Um, then I've seen you, bro. Listen, man, I see you at the Comedy Store for the last uh, year and a half. I think I've seen you four times. And, bro, I, I was like, fuck, I can see you. I see all the new bits that 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 you weave in. Trying, like, like, yeah, yeah like, like, you know, and this is I tell young comics, when you try stuff out, you know, put them in between, sandwich them in between bits that work, and and if they can hold up, then that's a new bit, you know. But if fucking energy level drops, you're like, oh shit, got work on that one. But no, I've seen you, bro, and I was like, man, this fucker's got new bits, man. Fucking working. Gracias. Oh, man. So, so how did they? So, so Adam, uh, uh kind of mentored you, bro. Right? Not, not mentored me, but just like was like gave me development spots, and then the more mentoring was more like Joey Diaz because I was there when I was at the store, dog. It was kind of super hard to get past because it was ro- it was the the highest level of the store. Rogan, Joey, Segura, Burt Kreischer, Red Man, hit all those. Austin yeah. was in Hollywood. Okay. Whoever's in Austin right yeah, now yeah. was at the store with whoever's at the store right now. So it was just, hey, homie. Like, there'd be nights, it'd be like Chris Chappelle, Chris Chappelle, Chappelle. Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, yeah. fucking Joe Rogan, Joey Diaz, and Tom Segura for 30 bucks. Dog. Heavy hitters, bro. Yeah. All oh, heavy hitters. And everyone just doing 15. Uh-huh. Boom, 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 boom. So, so all right. So, so like how did how did you how did it's, it's almost like getting your black belt, bro, when they put your name up on that yeah. on that building, you know? How did uh how did they tell you you were passed? Bro? Well, that's or, so um and by passed for the civilians that don't know at the comedy store, and there's a lot of people that didn't get passed, bro. Yeah, the, like George Lopez never got passed. You know what? They just put his name up. They did? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Hey, wh- hey, shout wh- out to the homie George no, no, Lopez. No, no, hey, hey, respect. But yeah. but when we were all coming up, there's a yeah, lot they of people. Yeah, they do there. like last year, eh? Yeah, well, he's always, you know, come on, it's George Lopez, bro, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
But uh, but I remember when when uh, when, he was, when, he comic, when right? he was a young comic, he wasn't he wasn't getting in. A lot of people, you know, the, everybody knows the Seinfeld story. Yeah, Terry Seinfeld, Seinfeld did it. Yeah, but for you, bro, when uh, when you get that, you know, when when you get that talk, like, oh, how does how, how does it? Uh, what so it goes down like this, man. Uh, so the comedy store shut down with COVID, and then uh, go like that real quick, player, and then. Uh, after COVID shut down, it was dead. Okay. And then they opened it back up. They did the mash shit. Remember that? Like, yeah. hey, you got to go with the mash, drink with the straw. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to eat a nacho with like a, like a hood over you. And so, uh, they weren't passing nobody. All right. And then about six months passed by and they were like, all right, it's time to pass somebody new. No one's been passed here in two years. Like this shit has no to go on. No shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. So they had an audition, and it was it was it's a pretty big class that I got passed in. Dog, a lot of fools are making movies right now, and uh, I just remember they called me up and they're like, "Hey, fool, check it out. You're gonna go after Mark Marin in the original room." All right. Like, now, Mark Marin, yeah, yeah. And bro. they did it right to see, you know. And yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Willie, my first three minutes sucked. No. But I stayed in the pocket. <laughs> I knew not to do good jokes after him. I knew to tease and like get in, do a little crowd, fuck it, and just be like, boss. Oh, okay. And it That's did. That's my move. That's, That's my move. Yeah. yeah cause... Well, you were doing what I, what, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, bro. No. What I tell uh, uh, somebody who's going to follow someone that just destroyed the room, don't try to fucking overkill the room because yes. this guy just killed it. What you gotta do is take your time and create your own ambiance. Like you like you mm -hmm. let the audience know, okay, yeah, hey, even give it up for that guy. Yeah, hey, badass, yeah, yeah. But in, in a way you're saying badass, but get his energy out of here and let yes. me create my own vibe. Straight up. So that's kind of what you did, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean that yeah, and I was just more like kind of feeling it out. All right. And then cause in my head too, I was like, you know what? They're bookers. I think they don't give a fuck if I do good. They right. care to see the structure, the professionalism. And yeah. I came prepared. I wasn't just going to go, hey, what's up, hey, what's your name, perro? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You know? Yeah. And it worked, dog. And like, but it was a trip, though, fool, because like, it was a very strong class. There's a lot of big competition that was trying to get in that. Part. Right, right, right. And uh, so they just, I did it, and they were like, all right, hey, we'll talk to you later. And I was like, what the fuck? You're not going to tell me right now? Oh, that's what they said. They, yeah. They, they keep you in suspense, bro? Yeah. And I had a good set, dog. Like, I had a good set. So I went home cocky and shit. And then I was like, fuck. And then they were like, yo, we're going to announce the new paid regulars, but you guys are going to go up on Tuesday so, like, Monday came for and yeah. I still haven't got a phone call. <laughs> like, I was like, fuck, I didn't get passed. And then Tuesday morning, they gave me the call. They're like, hey, you're on the show tonight. You're passed. Oh, wow, bro. And, yeah, that's the first time I went up as a paid regular, but they don't put your name on the wall till later. Okay, how does that happen? What do they just... Well, everybody gets together... Like me and you know you know how we're Mexican for I was like fuck that I might have a taco guy here so I called Taco Naso, Taco Naso catered it we opened the bar, we had food there was like about hundred and fifty to two hundred people there because everyone that got passed brought their families and we had ceviche tostadas, oh. shrimp fish out there grubbing dripping chan on the parking lot while they painted our names. That's nice, bro. Yeah, you made, you made it an event, bro. F yeah, I don't, I don't follow think I, that. I don't think I see. What, I don't think I've heard anybody else doing something like that. Nah, even uh, Emily Laford, the the uh, talent coordinator. Yeah, she was just like, uh, yeah, this, this is on. Hey, this is how we do it. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. But everybody pitched in, homie. Everybody like it was a full. Like, the bar was full, the parking lot was full. It was a dope event, man. Oh, bro, listen, man, I'm, I'm proud of what you've done, bro. We're, I mean, a lot of us that started these, these uh, you know, these rooms, and and then we started at, like, uh, like Edwin, you know, uh, San Juan was here. A lot, a lot of the cats uh, came up grinding, bro, and you're obviously you're one of them, brother. So I'm very proud of Thank you. Thank you, brother. Ha ha I'm, uh, I'm happy that you're here, bro. 
Like, if I was gonna tell you, um, you know, you 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 lived a life, bro, where you had ups and downs. You were talking about going to prison. You're talking about some stuff that that you've gone through. If if let's just say there's a youngster, a youngster watching, right? And I don't know, he wants to be an actor. He wants to get in showbiz because with Latinos, bro, there's rarely any nepotism. Like, there's nobody gets in because his, his cousin is in a movie or his cousin's a director. All of us, we, we, we're all grinded out. We like, we like huh. literally walking in a dark room, bro, and trying to find our, our, our way around. That's because, true. Because we don't, we don't, we don't really have that, that you know, that uncle that was that was in the biz. We're just yeah. fucking. That's why we're kind of we're fucking warriors, bro. Because we, we didn't pussy out. For you, bro, I, I would, I would. What, what would you say, man? If you, if you had to tell somebody, look, man, this is how you, this is how you don't give up, or this is how you don't give up on your dream, or this is how you, you, because what, what people see, uh, they, they, uh, they, they see our success, but bro, every comedian, if he's really, really honest, knows that there's a lot of failure behind success. Where so many times you feel like you know what, fuck this, man. I, you know, this is bullshit. You know, you 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 because because of the failure. What what would you say, bro, to uh, to anybody uh, coming up that wants to get in in in, in comedy and acting, whatever? Because look, it's all related. Yeah. It's hard. If you look like me, it's already hard, eh? So like, you better go in there knowing it's like it's what we do, and just stay true to yourself. What does that mean? Stay true to yourself to me is like go in there, dog, and like don't be like, oh shit, I noticed all the open micers have backpacks, so I'm gonna go buy a backpack to be their friend. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just go yeah. in there, fucking be original, right? Material and study. Study old Willie Barcena tape. <laughs> study like now, you know what I mean though, right? Like uh, hey, like that's I thought, how I was gonna say somebody really old. Okay, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the old guys. Go to the archives, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go to the old 1999 uh, Willie uh, Barsena no, at uh, Wild Coyote. <clears throat> no, I appreciate the love, bro. We've always had mutual respect, bro. Straight uh, up, I, I, man. Well, those, bro, and and yeah, for any any young comic that's coming up, man. Go up listen, constantly, listen, right? Yeah, yeah. Listen to these words of wisdom, man, and and, uh, and it just you're gonna have more failures than you're gonna have success, yeah. man. Uh, man, I just want to say, bro, I just enjoy chilling with Thank you. Thank you, my boy. I've been I've been wanting to come down uh, for a minute because uh, I know I know you're busy. I know you uh, you've been selling out, bro. That yeah, club, you know your ticket sales are. are, 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 are it feels are, good, are, dog. Because I, if I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> I used to watch you and it'd be like sold out, sold out, sold out. And I was like, damn, if I can't wait to put those clips, I, I gotta do sold out after the show because people would walk up and buy tickets. No, nah, bro, you're doing great, man. I, I, you know, thank you, so, brother. I uh, appreciate having you. Anything you want to say? Anything you yes. want to plug? Yo, uh, this... oh, your album, bro. Yes, yes, t- bro. You did a vinyl. Old school comedy yeah. album, and bro. That's selling. like, that is, it, is, that, is that a new? I mean, bro. You know, I'm I'm kind of I'm not a uh, I don't up, know I'm not up new, on this. Yeah, but I know the, the the albums are coming back, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, it's not a new thing. Vinyl's been around forever, but so to me, I'm just more like going. You know what, dog? Cheech and Chong to me is gonna live forever because of those vinyls. Yeah. So I want to live forever. Like, I want to start leaving stuff where it's just like, you know what, dog? Like, I want to have a vinyl. I want to have a special on HBO, Netflix, every network. Like, I want to leave my legacy. So vinyl's where it's at. But I think I'm going to try to be the vinyl king, homie. I'm about to work on a new one. I got new ideas coming out. It's called George Perez, This Trollo's Crazy. (laughs) You can catch it. You can buy it at any of my shows. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm at the Kavina Laugh Factory. It's almost sold out. The Sunday show has the most tickets. The other shows have, like, you might be sitting by a stranger or your baby's mom. She comes with the new vato. I don't know. Right, right, right. right. But so the tickets are scattered. And where, do they, where do they find you, bro? Where, like, like the social George media? George P. Comedy on Twitter, on Instagram. Okay. And, uh, yeah. 
Well, no. Hey, bro, again, thank you for coming out and hanging out. Thank you. May 4th, Michilada Festival in Santa Anita, dog. If you're not doing you're oh, probably working. Oh, shit. Michilada Festival. Yeah, yeah hey, I'm hosting it. Oh, shit. What do you got? Who else is on? The Voodoo Glow Skulls are on there as well. And, like, they have, like, a, a derby. They got wrestling. It's nice, like a nice, Chicano bro. punk rock everything party fun. That's badass. Yeah. Oh, April 1st, my birthday show at the Comedy Store, Doggy Dog. So, uh, yeah. Badass, man. Again, thank you, bro. Thank you, Edwin bro. San Juan, who's, who's in the background. Thank you for chilling with us. Fabi Fabian, thank you, bro. Love you. John Benitez on the side. Mad love, you guys. And thank you for another uh, uh, drop-in, man. Love, guys.